Hello, my name is Simeon Neil Asher and the trigger point of the week this week is the latissimus dorsi muscle. Um, so let's start by having a little look at the software and seeing if we can find it. And we're going to use the 3D search uh, functionality. I'm going to select the uh, sort of thorax and we're going to look at the, the lateral flank. And we can see that we've got some several options, serratus anterior, the intercostals, and we've got lat dorsi here now, or the lats, as some people call it. Um, okay, so the latissimus dorsi is a large superficial muscle. It starts uh, origin just laterally to the uh, erector spinae. Um, <clears throat> that's where most of the fibers are recruited. Very large origin from uh, the T6 region on the sort of uh, transverse processes all the way down to the sacrum itself. The, uh, it's got an origin also from the, the sacral uh, um, ilium, iliac crest and the ridge of the sacrum. Uh, it also has some slips in some people from the from uh, the ninth to the 12th ribs. And again, in some people, we have uh, slips also from the inferior border of the scapula. In terms of the insertion, it inserts into the uh, under sulcus of the, um, of the uh, humerus itself. Um, and in terms of the function, it's, uh, well, there are two kind of functional kinematic parts. The, the upper part, uh, tends to form a functional unit with the triceps um, and is used for stabilizing the humerus and for humeral activities. A very important muscle, for example, in overhead sports, uh, tennis, badminton, uh, racket sports in general, also um, uh, for swimming. Uh, it's a really big, important swimming muscle. Uh, and the lower part... Um, is, is much more involved in sort of spinal kinematics, uh, lateral flexion a little bit with uh, the quadratus lumborum uh, and stabilizing the, the lower thorax, um, really stabilizing it so we can use the, the humerus actually. In terms of trigger points and pain maps, there are two uh, that we look at, the upper. So if we have a look at the upper pain map here, we can see the majority of people feels this kind of uh, periscapular or medial scapular pain. But we do have people that radi uh, report radiations down the back of the arm, through the tricep, uh, and all the way actually to the little finger. Uh, interestingly, a little bit like uh, C sort of C8 T1 uh, dermatome. Uh, so can be confused sometimes with uh, radiculopathy from the neck. Um, the lower trigger point has uh, uh, also an interesting referral pattern. Generally speaking, it's uh, the sort of lower flank, the sort of lower abdomen. But we do have a very strong prominent trigger uh, pain map uh, in the anterior deltoid region or sort of long head bicep region. Um, and, and this does really, really uh, occur. We do see it uh, uh, you know, fairly commonly. So even though the pain is, again, classically with trigger points, the muscle dysfunction is in the lower fibers of the traps, but of, of, the, of the latissimus dorsi, but we see it, uh, the pain map in the uh, sort of anterior deltoid region. Um, as I said, an important muscle, uh, easily fatigued in uh, people that have overhead sports or people that do overhead activities uh, like painting ceilings and, and car mechanics can get it. Um, but an interesting case I saw recently was a, a guy that his job was to video people jumping out of aeroplanes and uh, on, uh, with parachutes and he would have to stand sort of 10, 12, uh, 15 times a day standing plus uh, holding onto a bar with a video camera in one hand and fighting against the, the wind when the doors open and then jump out afterwards and follow the person that down and, and make the video for them. And doing this over a period of time, he developed anterior shoulder pain. He'd seen a lot of uh, different professionals and no one had managed to help him. And I identified a, a lower uh, lat dorsi trigger point, which we treated really quickly, one session in fact, and completely got rid of his symptoms. So uh, an interesting uh, case, and, and, and as I said, these things do happen. Um, and just to note the, the different sort of maps that we can get for this latissimus dorsi, fascinating. Um, I hope you found that useful. Uh, trigger point of the week, as I said, was uh, latissimus dorsi. And I hope you can join us again next week for the next uh, trigger point of the week. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.